everyone, what's up? This is Simon and today I want to quickly talk with you about something that I saw on the VeedConf that took place Tuesday this week. So today's Friday the 14th and there was something that I've seen that I just can't unsee and I want to give this a try with you because this could really completely change our developer workflow. And this is code flow from StackBlitz. So uh, Simon Eriks, no, Eric, Eric Simons gave this great introduction to the topic. Actually, uh, awesome name, Simon. Um, and I just wanted to see if we can do the same. So you can head over to stackblitz.com slash codeflow and join the beta with your GitHub account. And then you can open any GitHub repository and do some magic. So we're gonna do this. Um, I could paste in this right here, or there's actually an even, even easier way, and that is going into the URL and putting in pr.new. Let's see, uh, I tried this a few times and the IDE didn't work, but this time it works. And I don't know if you can actually grasp what just happened. So what just happened is this is a repository, a SwellKit repository, could be a rec, could be Angular, could be Vue, could be whatever kind of web development, actually also I think backend development. And I can now immediately work in this project in my browser. This is not local Visual Studio code, this is inside the browser. And actually, as far as I know, I could also turn off my internet because this is now working locally. And we see here, this is actually the preview of exactly this project. So I could now go right into this project and say, okay, I wanna edit the uh, page here and say, this is epic at some point. I'm gonna hit save. It updates my live reload. This it just, I don't know, this exactly works like my IDE. Uh, I just have to find that uh, window again. Uh, so it's, uh, there's the simple browser, there it is. And it updated, this is epic, right in here. How cool is this? I mean, I can now easily go into source control. I got two changes, okay. Um, so I made this change, so I can create a, a pull request and branch. I'm gonna go enter here my additions let's add this in here commit and push and then i can finally uh sync the changes this action will push and commit from yes please do this i'm really interested and curious to see if i go back into my repository will i see yeah had recent pushes less than a minute ago uh this is so cool I expect in that video, uh, the idea was that you're locally working on your regular job stuff and then someone uh, comes up with, hey, there's an, a bug in some repository or something else is going on. And then you can just easily open that, open that bug or open a pull request and you don't have to leave your local environment. And that is so cool. I can actually also, yeah. And this is one more thing. This whole Visual Studio Code thing that we see here, he said StackBlitz is Visual Studio Code and Visual Studio Code is StackBlitz. And I can ha completely confirm this. I can actually install this as a progressive web app. <laughs> oh my, this is this right here. This is not Visual Studio Code. This is a progressive web app. The, the progressive web app I just installed. <laughs> this is so crazy. It is completely mind blowing and crazy to me. I think, oh, let's try, can I get my, because this is not my theme. Let's try shortcuts. Uh, well, shortcuts here, probably not working. Let's try the shortcut in, where is it? It's gone. Ah, it's gone. That's just here. Oh, uh, well, uh, I think the shortcuts used to work. Does, can I install shades of purple? Let's enable this and set this as my color theme. <laughs> I can do this. This is so funny. Oh, why am I actually working locally? This is even faster than my local installation. I can just do anything I want in here. And this is a progressive web app. Actually, I didn't get this preview like on my local. Uh, this is mind blown. Anyway, there's also one more thing that I wanted to show you inside the docs uh, of CodeFlow. I think there's uh, where the CodeFlow docs right here. Um, there's also a CodeFlow app bot that you can use. I think I added this to my repository. So when I do have a pull request at some point, uh, let's create this pull request. Um, then we should probably, yes, get a message from the CodeFlow app. And I can immediately review this pull request. So imagine you have a repository and someone says, hey, can you review my pull request? And you gotta set up all the things uh, and it takes you like 20 minutes to change your environment and set up the pull request and oh, 
Here is the pull request and I can immediately confirm that its eyes are not with a preview in the browser in my ex environment that I'm used to. Um, I'm probably getting overly excited about this, but I think this is the legit time to get overly excited about something because this is amazing. This is just astonishing work. Uh, the team from StackBlitz worked, I think, like three years on this whole web container thing and making sure that all of this works. Um, there are more examples. You should definitely check out that talk. It's just 30 minutes, um, which shows uh, another cool thing that is, uh, what was the last thing? Uh, styling, you can use Visual Studio Code, the AppFlow bot, CodeFlow. Um, there's also the way now to use at ilovecodeflow.com to easily change documentation um, pages or sites. Because previously, if you were working with markdown files for like a documentation page, you always have to set up that locally. Now, they actually also had something that they call web publisher. Um, so you can easily make changes to something. I'm just gonna, uh, can I do this? Let's do this. My name is, I actually don't know. What's my GitHub username? I don't know. I think Simon24 and overly excited about this. <laughs> and you immediately see the preview of this. So this is another game changer for uh, people who are probably not even developers, maybe marketing, maybe design, maybe just updating the documentation to get an instant preview of things in their documentation pages. Now, I can uh, say how much I enjoy this. Um, again, the CodeFlow app bot is pretty amazing in itself that you can, uh, oh yeah, of course, if there is like a stackblitz.com link with a bug inside an issue. So if you go into any kind of repository, do I still have the link? Of course not. Uh, GitHub, I don't know, go into some kind of repository. If somebody would raise an issue here and post a stackblitz link in here, you would immediately see with the CodeFlow app um, fix this is issue which start starts a new pull request. I'm getting too excited about this really. Uh, which starts a new pull request and also shows you in that repository or that, that PWA or whatever we want to call this in the browser, uh, a representation of that StackBlitz bug project. I still can't wrap my head around that this is actually a progressive web app. Like I do have my real app. This is my real Visual Studio code locally and this is the PWA. Like what is going on? Please, uh, this is just too much. On top of that, you can also check out on the StackBlitz Twitter account a thread about all these changes. And there's one more thing that's really, really interesting. And that is that uh, Figma recently became a strategic investor in StackBlitz. So uh, Figma brought designing to the browser. And guess what StackBlitz is doing? They're bringing coding to the browser. So I expect this is a lot that we're going to see much more from StackBlitz and that this right here, coding in the browser, like going to my repository. Let's do this one more time because this is so freaking amazing. Let's do it one more time, pr.new slash. And it just brings up, ooh, that page couldn't be found. Uh, looks, ah, this is, is it a private repository? Oh, yeah, just, oh, this is like my own page. I probably, yeah, I should probably go to Votestic, <laughs> do it on your pr.new slash my repository. Like this is even starting my IDE faster than I can do this locally because they're using PNPM and they're doing all the cool things that I can't do locally and it's already doing the ng-surf. This is a joke. This is really, I don't know. I'm probably just gonna code in the browser from now on. And this is exactly what I wanted to tell you. Like, first of all, this whole flow with working on the GitHub repository, doing the, um, doing the preview, all of this is already a game changer, but is this eventually becoming the next thing for our coding environment? Like not having it locally, but doing it on the browser? I don't know, people are still talking about Fleet and the new Fleet version, and I'm like, this is amazing. We should just develop on the browser. If this just gets like 10% better, probably it's already there, but if this only gets a tiny bit better, I'm pretty sure that we are very, very close to just having our work coding environment in the browser. So um, I probably got overly excited. I'm not getting paid by StackBlitz for this, but uh, if you wanna do a collaboration, you can find me on Twitter as well. Uh, but otherwise, let me know in the comments what you think about uh, StackBlitz CodeFlow. You can find it at 
techblitz.com slash codeflow to join the beta, uh, the beta and then let your mind be blown away. But before your mind is blown away, make sure you subscribe to the channel and leave a comment with what you think and share the video. And I'm hopefully gonna catch you very soon. So of course, I'm still Simon. And until then, happy coding.